This is SAT test 5 non-calculator question number 10. College Board gives us a polynomial with two variables, a and b, and tells us a squared plus b squared equals z and ab equals y. Which of the following, they ask, is equivalent to 4z plus 8y? To find this, I'm going to write 4z plus 8y and then I'm going to substitute in these expressions. So that's 4 times a squared plus b squared plus 8 times y is a b. Distributing the 4 to both the a squared and the b squared, I get 4a squared plus 4b squared plus 8ab. And I want one of these to give me the same expression. Let's try a plus 2b quantity squared. Squaring a binomial, I like to write it for FOIL rather than trying to square it in my head. FOIL, I multiply first times first. A times A is A squared. Outside times outside. A times 2B is 2AB. Inside times inside. 2B times A is another 2AB. Last times last. 2B times 2B. B times b is b squared, and 2 times 2 is 4. So this simplifies to a squared plus 4ab plus 4b squared, which is not 4a squared plus 4b squared plus 8ab. So choice a is wrong. Let's try the next choice. Choice B, again, I'm going to use FOIL, 2A plus 2B times 2A plus 2B. FOIL first times first gives me 2A times 2A is 2 times 2 is 4, A times A is A squared. Outside, 2A times 2B is 2 times 2 is 4, AB. Inside, 2B times 2A is 2 times 2 is 4, B times A is AB. Last times last, 2b times 2b is 2 times 2 is 4, b times b is b squared. So that's 4a squared plus 4ab and another 4ab is 8ab plus 4b squared. If I compare this with the expression we're trying to match, 4a squared matches 4a squared. 4b squared matches 4b squared, and then 8ab matches positive 8ab. So choice b is the correct answer. If I wanted to take the time, I could use FOIL on choices c and d and verify that these do not match, but I already have the correct answer. And on the SAT under time pressure, at this point I would move on to the next question. College Board will typically ask you, to rewrite an expression that involves more than one variable, or here you could treat a and b as constants, but either way, foiling where you get powers of different letters. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.